All right, we are back with the Creative Club career mode. So you guys showed a lot of support in episode one, and I I mean a lot. So it sounds like you guys want this Creative Club to be the next, the main full series in the channel. So let's see if we can keep that same support up. Because you guys keep dropping likes, keep supporting the series, this will for sure be a full series. And of course, let me know you guys want to see daily episodes too. So in the last episode, we started the, the Kensington Creative Club. We also lost our first game, and we also made our first signing, which is which was Mina. Now that left wing spot was a spot I thought that we needed to fill because we didn't have any players the pace on the wing other than our homegrown talent small who's 75 rated so we're gonna finish the window the rest of the window in this episode we need a cdm we need some backup mids if we can and then maybe a new left back too but emphasis on if we can because we're in league one we only started with a five million budget and when you put when you account wages in for that it's it's not a big budget we already spent a lot on mina so it's gonna it's gonna be tough to bring in players but if we're smart we might find some decent deals but we got to be smart with the money though and then also there's the the youth academy which i do want to buy another scout but it's gonna take so much of the budget so we'll also contemplate that in this episode so you guys keep dropping likes on this series the more you will see of it and it will hopefully turn into a, a full series on the channel our main series so drop a like if you want to see more of this series sub down below we're chasing 50,000 subs and we just hit 46,000 i think but so we're only 4,000 away from 50k which that is insane and also we're doing a spider-man playthrough on the second channel so the link for that will be in the description as well all right first press conference of the the creative club the first comment you need a left back perhaps you could fund the position by selling your backup left back and making mcintyre your new backup honestly moss is 23 and mcintyre is 29 i feel like the smarter thing might be actually selling mcintyre or making him a center back because as you can see he's i think he would be a decent center back i would like to upgrade the left back spot if we can and then maybe moss could be the backup and mcintyre could be uh could be a center back because he'd probably be our third choice center back and he's probably better than may to be honest so something we might look at doing but a lot of it depends on the budget which we have no money basically and the next one looking at is a perfect left back has 85 potential and under four mil and it's sad that a player under four mil is probably still out of our price range now i tried to add all the players you guys suggested on our short list as you can see our short list is uh it's pretty big. I tried to add most of them. But we got to also remember, Luka Nets, a player like him who's playing in the first division of, the, of a league in a country, they're not going to want to come to League One. So a player like him on this shortlist, a lot of players you guys suggested are not going to be able to be signed this window. But for future windows, there's still going to be targets possibly. But we got to keep that in mind. Only certain players playing in lower divisions want to join us. So a lot of these players in this list are actually probably future signing, like not this window, or probably not even the next window. And the last one, of course, I, I would really want to see this as a full daily based series. The most upvoted comment on the first episode like i said it sounds like you guys want this to be a full series i want it to be a full series so as long as you guys keep supporting the videos keep dropping likes keep dropping comments keep subbing to the channel down below this will be our next full series so we we will see i appreciate all the support that you guys you guys showed a lot of support in episode one and i appreciate it so much i'm glad that you guys sound excited for this as i am all right so the plan is to play three games per episode get back to that our usual setup in each episode i think we're gonna play this evil cup game Play Portsmouth, sim Oxford, and sim this week. That's Accrington Stanley, I believe. And then play Charlton Athletic to end the episode. Or the last game of the episode. That's going to be a local derby, too, away. So, we got no cash. Absolutely nada. There are some players on here, though, that are below the value of, like, 1 million. More like 500,000 we can maybe sign up. But we do need them to be scouted. I definitely feel like Lee, he's our captain. But the man's, the man's 34. He's going to be 59 soon. That's just not good enough. Like, we're asking to be relegated to League 2 starting him to be honest so a new cdm or a box to box to be here in that spot that's fine because hilton seems like a pretty good cdm I feel like that's what we need the most uh midfield and then a left back possibly honestly this team could use a lot when you look at the bench we could basically use any position but with the money we have we gotta try and be smart i do feel like this is gonna be a rough season because uh i feel like these sliders it's it's gonna be tougher than i probably expected i think the goal in this first season is to don't get relegated that's the goal i think which is exactly what the board wants us to do so if i go up against oldham oldham athletic i think we should play this because we can go on a cup run that might help us help us out long term even though it would add more games so we're gonna play this uh this evil cup game rotated a little bit andrew comes in arnold moss our first time using them this team is buns though this team is absolute buns hopefully it won't be buns for too long though and now we lost the first game of the season at home it'll be nice to get a win in this game get a win in our belt get some confidence going so second game of the series efl cup care about cup we need to start seeing some uh some slight improvements game by game in this team that is that's the only thing i'm hoping for us like at least a little bit of shaky defending in the first game that's why we lost it we didn't play that bad but with these kind of players you got to expect shaky defending you got to expect it you need our star players like green though to do the business that's a that's a, just gonna be blocked all right that is a decent ball connor small our highest rated player to mina both highest rated players combining and somehow that is almost actually a goal that was like a that was like a tackle that led to uh to the goalkeeper having to save that that was just weird corner lofted in corner lofted in connor small jump towards it he gets to it 
Oh, that's off the crossbar. Connor Small, our homegrown talent, almost scores the first goal of the game again. How unlucky is that? Honestly, Moss might be better than McIntyre. Oh, what is that pass green? I think Moss might be a little bit better than McIntyre. Plus, he's, what, six years younger? So if we don't sign a left back, it might be uh, the best thing to do to start him, to be honest. All right, Hilton, switch the play. That's not the best to switch the play. It's actually a horrible switch of play. Okay, maybe we can't switch the play. Okay, okay, okay. This is the shaky defending why we conceded in the, the first game. Okay, he took so long. Okay, okay, calm down. Boys, boys, we need to we need to settle down here. Settle down. Settle down. That was so shaky. You just, how, I mean, I guess it's confidence to play back to your keeper like that. But man, you're asking for an own goal there. All right, Hilton gets it to Arnold. Connor Small should be on side. He is on side. Gonna cross it in. Good cross. Our, is that green? Or Reeves? That's Reeves. He gets to it, but he can't get ahead to it. We are literally the worst team in League One, but that is not going to stop us. All right, good ball to Andrew, our 59 rated center mid. Reeves. Tyler Reeves. Oh, we just take so long to shoot. It's going to get blocked. Okay, Connor Small. The crosses have looked pretty good. They've looked decent, but it's not there. There's a cross. There's a cross. That looks pretty good. Oh, it looks pretty good. Someone go for it, though. Boys, we need to actually go for those. Okay, this looks decent. Oh, Okay, did not look decent. The good tackle though. Get that to Reeves into our other, other, other main signing Mina. What did I just say? I don't know, but Mina scores his first goal for Kensington FC. Our two best players, Small, changing the field to Reeves. Gets it to Mina, and that is a very good finish from Mina. He was quiet in the first game, but he's not going to be quiet in this game. I feel like the goal scoring is not going to be our problem. I feel like it's going to be the, de the defending. Mina might be in again. Connor Small, get into his space. Get into his space. Mina, Mina. Okay. I, I thought he'd be a little bit quicker with that 92 pace, but he was not. I mean, we're one 0 We've defended well so far. Can't be can't be too mad. I would like to get one more goal just so we can take Small and uh, Mina off. Because we do play Portsmouth soon. And I kind of want them to be there for that game. Mina. Okay, that wasn't... It was a... I thought it was bad. It wasn't the worst cross. Could be a lot better, though. It's crazy how different FIFA, FIFA feels when you're playing uh, as players this rating and against players of this rating. The game feels so much different. It's so much slower. It's actually... Like, it feels like a better game, to be honest. All right, work it to Moss. Moss is actually having a pretty good game, I gotta say. He feels pretty good. Slide that to Andrew. Andrew. Okay, that was my fault. I literally just passed it right to them. Oh, no. Okay, that player's gonna be free. Okay, boys. Boys. Come on, we need to defend. It's gonna be our biggest challenge this season. Oh, Moss. Okay, Moss is the starter. I'm sorry. McIntyre, you have a great name, but you are gonna be the new backup. See, this is why we play games like this. We learn things about this team we otherwise would have not. Okay, small. Small. Get it to Reeves. Get it to Reeves. Oh, it almost got to Reeves. We're going to win that, though. Andre Green. Oh, Andre Green. Our cam from Jamaica. Can't even get a shot away. Come on, boys. One more goal. Green to Reeves. Reeves. Foul. How is it not a foul? Okay, maybe, maybe he tripped. Maybe he tripped. Oh, I don't want to concede now. We've, we've defended so well. We're not going to concede. We're not going to concede. Moss. Moss is an absolute beast. I got to take the, the, main, the main guys off, though. Uh, let's do... Let's do... Paulson and Kendall. On the left and right, I think. Actually, let's put green on the left. We got 20 minutes. Main boys are off. We, oh, I want to see something from Tyler Reeves. He's like almost our one of our highest rated players that were, were in this team already. At 68 at striker. But he's not really been able to do much. Could be down to uh, service though. Not all his fault. Hilton. The Reeves. Right on cue. Right on cue. Reeves. Oh, he's got two men to beat. And he's just not very agile. I feel like Hilton should be the captain though. I feel like he's the right age. And he is. he's a pretty good CDM in this team. Where I do feel like he's he's got the captaincy vibe about him. Hilton. Two Reeves. Reeves. Oh, it's the corner of the crossbar. How unlucky is that? Very good attempt, though. Very good attempt. This has been a much better game than the first one. Although, I don't know if this team's worse. Reeves. Two green. Oh, almost got it to him. Oh, they're they're shaky at the back. Maybe not as shaky as us. Okay, boys. Get back in his get back in a position, please. Get back. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, Morris, Morris. Good. He didn't really come out for it, but uh, good pickup, I'll say. Kendall to green. We got we got a Kendall on the team. Kendall is such a such a funny name. We got five minutes. I don't want to rush anything. I don't want to lose the ball in a bad spot, but I also want to just seal this game with a goal. Green to Reeves. Reeves. Oh, we got absolutely nothing on that. All right, boys. Jose Mourinho just just parked the bus. We got one minute. Park the bus. This is gonna be the first win of the series. I am taking this. Oh, that's not a good ball. That's an even worse ball. Okay, it works. It wastes time. It does enough to waste time. And that is our first win of the series in the Carabao Cup. I mean, we hit the crossbar a couple times. We could have had, we could have had maybe like two or three goals and we had a clean sheet. So I would say that is a decent first win.
Look at that. Mina scores first goal of the season. Honestly, Mina and Small have to be like the Bash brothers of this team. Like they, they got to carry us this season. But all right, so we don't have the best scouts. So it's going to take some time for these players to be scouted. So I think we might play Portsmouth next. I'm looking at, uh, in terms of center mid and TDMs, Tom Carroll from Ipswich. Jack Colback from Nottingham Forest. And then this guy, Svensson, playing in, I'm pretty sure that's Sweden, I think. The team is from Sweden, I think. These three guys for a CDM to replace Lee in the starting 11 would be pretty good. And I'm pretty sure all their value is like below 700,000, where we could buy them permanently. That's at least what I'm hoping for. But of course, they got to be scouted first. And then for that left back spot, we are looking at these two. Papa Suare from Charlton Athletic, our rivals. I mean, it's a, it's based in London. He doesn't have to go far to his new team if we sign him. And then also Gaetan Bong from Nottingham Forest. These two are in our price range where we probably could afford them. And they'd be decent upgrades at left back. But of course, we need them to be scouted. Our scouts are absolute. They're, they're just not good. So we need to give them time. So Portsmouth next. Uh, we lost the first game. I want to win our first game in the league. Obviously, it would be beautiful if we can get promotion in the first season but man there's a lot of teams here and we know as a fact we chose a one-star team we are literally the worst team in this league we know that so for the worst team in the league to get a top six spot out of 20 was it 24 or 20 yeah 24 teams it's going to be a challenge all right we get to wear the away kits for the very first time i really like both of these kids i honestly think they look so good so team does not look too bad mine is a little bit tired but uh i think i still gotta i we still gotta start him maybe we'll play him like 45 minutes and then take him off and then i would start moss but he is tired so i do think moss is probably the better left back here oh yeah he probably is but for this game mcintyre you get the start so second game let's let's get our first win in the league of course this is a real stadium fratton park which is pretty cool i gotta read up on league one like i don't know which teams are the best teams in this league i really should uh read up a little bit so i know who we're facing and if we should be scared or if we should be confident now nah, we should be confident in every game screw that confidence in every single game let's get our first win of the league season once again mina and connor small need to be the main men Hey, they're playing very deep oh that was almost a good ball i think it was offside though they're playing extremely deep though we're gonna try to shape this team in kind of like a possession based counter attacking team like we're, we're gonna try to be good at everything i don't want us to be just stuck in one style really i mean i think a team like this playing against a team like this who sits back is probably a good thing okay mina this is where the pace will come in handy him and connor small are just burning everybody on the wings and oh that wasn't even a good ball to reeves he was making a really good run oh defense defense get back get back get back Okay, man, the defense feels so vulnerable, extremely vulnerable. Well, that's a good challenge from Douglas Jack. Why isn't it Jack Douglas? His, his name is literally re reversed. Reeves. Oh, I was watching Reeves. He was going to be in. I wasn't even watching the guy with the ball. A good little pass. It's a very good little pass. Kind of drag my center back out there. But McIntyre, show me. You're a good left back. Show me. Show me. Show me. He's not showing me. I mean, he's shielding. I guess that's good enough. McIntyre, what is your shirt tucked in for? Untuck your shirt. Are we in grade school? Maybe if you untuck your shirt, we'll be better. Oh, that was a good ball. It was a good ball and a very good finish. Walker scores for Portsmouth, and we're down 1-0 to start this game. We just couldn't get the ball off him, and that's a incisive pass there. It's a good little dink, and it's a very good finish. All right, down 1-0. 22 minutes in. Let's try and get back in this. I don't feel like Portsmouth are an amazing team in, in League One, so I feel like we should be doing okay in this game, but honestly, I really don't know. Good ball to Lee. El Capitan Green. Green. Oh, that's a good challenge. Man, just these players. I'm so, I'm not used to using players that are so just not agile on the ball at all. We are going to have to use some very smart passing, some good team play to score some goals, I think. That should be pretty obvious. I got to say, Hilton is really good, though. Oh, small. Beautiful. Reeves. Reeves. Oh, beautiful teamwork. Okay, get it to Green. Mina. You should be able to burn him on pace. Burn him. Lofted ball. Oh, we just got sandwiched. They did like a WWE move to, to prevent his run. Okay, so much for them sitting back. They're not actually sitting back that much. That's going to be a shot. Morris. Comfortable, comfortable save. Our blonde ponytailed keeper. Green to Mina. Reeves was in a decent spot there. We're going to try a cross. It's in a good spot. Just no one can get there. Small is going to pick it up, though. Leave it. Keep it in. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, it was decent. Very decent. We're going to keep it though. Hilton. Oh, is, uh, small was offside second time around. Not the not the worst idea though. Not the worst. I wish we had third kits. Why why couldn't they have given us third kits in Creative Club? Like how hard would it have been to just give us one more kit to maybe make it like a yellow or like a pink? Something so like you know like every team has like a third kit with a weird color. Hopefully FIFA 23 that is something we have and we're about to concede again. Oh, we should have conceded again. We just got we just got a break there. All right, second half. This game is definitely not as good as last game, but come on. We are 1-0 down. Really should be 2-0 down, but they gave us a break, so we need to use this break and get back in the game because of it. Yeah, maybe maybe Portsmouth are pretty good, actually. Maybe they're pretty good. 
Because they're moving the ball looking pretty good at least. At least much better than Old Ham Athletic. I don't really know the quality of these teams. Oh, that's a good ball. That's how they scored the first one, Morris. Man, Morris looks so shaky in goal. Every single save he makes looks so shaky. Like, even for a 65-rated keeper, it just looks so shaky. I don't know if he's supposed to look that shaky. I thought he was one of our better players, but man, he's, I mean, he's okay for now. But, oh, we might concede again. Come on, boys. Oh, that's such a good ball. Morris, there we go. That's what I need to see from you. Oh, that's... Is it a pen? It's not a pen. It's a corner. Morris, that is what we need to see from you. Beautiful. All right, it's a lofted ball in. And Morris, I mean, okay, what is the guy on the line doing? He was just like in the net doing nothing. But at least we do make the save. Man, to say we're struggling in this game would be an understatement. We are struggling. Ball to Hilton, though. Through to Reeves. Reeves, very good first touch. Green, even better first touch. Get it to Reeves. Oh, I mean, that works. Small. Two. Andre Green. Oh, we needed to finish that. That was such a good move. Those are the chances that we need to finish. That looks decent. Okay, that is awkward. Or doesn't try to hit that in the mix. And it's actually going to go back to the player. Oh, that's that's the worst outcome there. Well, away from home, I would take a draw in this game. Just not a loss. We don't want to lose back-to-back -back games. Reeves. Small. Small. Oh, how does Small not get past that center back? Isn't Small have like 90 pace? It didn't look like it there. Green. Play it to Reeves. Play it to Reeves. Please be on side. Please be on side. Oh, it was a good idea. Just the ball was overhit a little bit. We got 12 minutes. We've had a better little spell here of like 20 minutes, but not enough. Oh, that's a dribble. Morris. Morris. Morris is out at the right time. I like it. All right. Green. Good dribbling. Get it to the fullback. In to Mina. Mina. Can we get it to Reeves? Oh, the cross is blocked. It's it's good defending. We're gonna drag them out a bit and then go back in. No, that was gonna be a good move. Hilton just overhit it completely. That was such a good move. We, we dragged them completely out and Reeves made a good run. Man, Reeves is not. What is this keeper doing? Why is he so far out? Reeves is not getting service in this team right now. Every time he makes a good run, like the ball is horrendous. We got one minute. We haven't even made subs. This ball has not gone out since the 62nd minute or something. We need to steal and we need to win the ball back. Oh, this might be an even worse loss. Yep. Man, we really should have tied this game up. But Portsmouth are going to walk away with a 2-0 with a no win. First two games, two losses. I mean, it's you got to expect struggle. I think the first 55 minutes were way too flat. We had a better spell towards the end. But we were so flat to start this game. All right, next game is Oxford uh, away from home. And the team is tired, so we got to rotate, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm going to keep Hilton there. But uh, we'll do Moss to start. And we will pretty much go with this. It's away from home. It's a sim game. Our first of the series. Honestly, I'm not expecting too much. But if we can get a draw or a win, I'd be happy. That's a 3-1 win. Green, Moss, and uh, Hilton score. Hey, I was expecting a loss. 3-1 win? I'll take that. That's our first win of the series in a sim game. We need to get our first win in actual played game, though. Hopefully, it'll come against Charlton, the uh, the local derby. So, next game, Kensington, Accrington, Stanley. Team looks a little bit better. Maybe we'll throw in... Uh, I think McIntyre... I think at center back, he's still a minus two. But you know what? Screw it. We'll throw him in there. And uh, hopefully, I will take a draw. I will take a draw against Accrington. Just not a loss. Anything but a loss. And I'll take a draw. Minus scores is 1-1 draw. I'll take that. All right, these scouting reports might come down all the way to... Uh, oh, no, actually, we got nine. We got nine plus of them. That's up. That's a lot of scouting reports. Okay, but so we got Fulham in the Carabao Cup now in round two. This has been drawn. So Tom Carroll would be 560,000 to 640. Svensson is 70 rated, but he's 34, and he would be 560 to 760. These are players in our price range. Like, they'd be good upgrades for the midfield, and they are, they're in our price range. And then both left backs kind of similar. Um, so why being a little bit younger? Maybe we'd try to go after him. I do want to let some of these other players be scouted, though. So I feel like loan signing is going to be very hard because we're in such a low league that a lot of players would not want to join us on loan. But all right, Fulham away from home. Should we play this? I mean, it's a it's a championship level team and then Charlton. Screw it. We'll play this game since it's against a pretty good team. If we get smashed, though, this might be a, a sim to result because on paper here, we are definitely uh, we're a little bit the underdog in this tie. We'll see what we can do, though. We'll see what we can do. I mean, they're definitely mid mid 70s. So they're, they're much better than us, obviously. So we'll see how we stack up against a team like this early on. Although it could be very bad. Because we are rotating a little bit too. Because I do want to play most of the first team against Charlton. But I don't even know what our first team is actually. So I'm not even sure what that means. Okay, 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 okay. That was way too easy. Morris at least made the save. That was very, very much so too easy though. The corner and Al May. I think it's our first time using him. Good clearance. Oh, oh, that could have been a pen. I think we got all man there. I don't even know if we got the ball. But it's good enough. What was that? That's a handball. I'll take it. That was very... Just whenever they put the ball in the box, we look very, very shaky, though. Okay. 
We need to be a bit smarter with the passing. Oh, that's just so well worked. Morris makes the save, though. It wasn't a great finish, but makes the save. This is going to be an experience development type game, I feel. Not sure if we expect to win this. It's going to be a, a game of development. An experience for the team. And Fulham are up 1-0. Yeah, this, this, this might be a little rough. Maybe by the time the FA Cup comes around, we'll be much better and more situated to go on a cup run. But EFL Cup, I'm not sure. Oh, that's a bad ball, though. Can we punish them? Mina. Oh, get it to green. Good ball. Green. Okay, Sutton is in. Sutton is in. Just flip it up. That's a good ball. And Hilton scores. And this is 1-1. You know what? Um, we can't rule us out that easily. This is 1-1. Hilton, El Capitan scores. It's actually a pretty well-worked move. Sutton is in for uh, Tyler Reeves. He's like 54 rated at striker. He's not very good. But that was a good ball to Hilton, though. All right, that is 1-1. That is Maybe we have a chance here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Morris. Morris is building some confidence, making some saves. I like to see it. Good ball to Mina. Oh, Green's making a very good run. Oh, that was supposed to go to Green. Green was making such a good run to space. Just over hit just a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't, don't concede off this. Oh, I meant to block that. Oh, Morris, Morris, what a save. Then we played it off Calvario. Oh, Calvario, that's up. I, I guess that's a smart play. I don't think he actually meant to do that, but it's very smart. But Morris is having a, okay, a decent game. We can't even deal with our press right now. They're just so much more agile and quicker than us. Oh, oh, May, that's a good, that's a good challenge though. Okay, move it, move it, Mina. You got the pace, come on. You got the pace, you're maybe a championship level player. Connor Small is in space. Connor Small, why would he go? Why would he drift wide there? I, I thought he'd run right into the box, but he like drifted wide a little bit. That should have been so much better. Oh no, not on halftime. Not on half, not right before halftime. Rodrigo Munoz scores and this is 2-1 again. It's literally the worst time to concede. That is rough. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, that's a good block. Man, May is like 59 rated. He's, uh, he's had some pretty good few defensive plays. I gotta say, green. Get it to Andrew. Mina, you should be on your bike. You should be on your bicycle at this point. Okay, I want to try to take it with him. Mina cuts inside. Finesse shot. I don't think he has a finesse shot trait. I don't think he does. All right, this is a decent looking move. Andrew's going to be in. Andrew. It's actually Andre. Why did I call him? Why did I call him Andrew? I don't know. That's Andre. And this is 2 2, 56th minute. That was just a perfectly timed through ball running in. And this is all tied up again. Andre Green, that was perfectly timed from Andrew. And uh, it's just a simple, simple finish. I still don't know the names of these players at all. But we know Andre Green and he just scored. We have a chance here. We have a chance to beat Fulham. 30 minutes left. We've played good enough to be in this at least. So we got a chance. Sutton. Oh, that's a great ball. That is a great ball to Mina. He's got no support though. No support. Gets around one though. Mina. Mina. Oh, it's a good shot. It's going to be blocked. In to Green. Green. Just a little bit of space. And he puts it wide. Oh, that was such a good chance. That was such a good chance. He got away from the defender. It's a powerful shot. It's just a little bit wide. Oh, that was so good. Okay, we got to take off the main boys again because I can't risk their stamina. And let's do McDermott for Hilton. We're just going to do that. Okay, I need to make him a center mid though. We got the local derby at the weekend. So we got to rest some of the main players. Sutton, look at Sutton's pace. He's got no pace. What is the keeper even doing? Holy man, this guy looks, this guy looks, Paulson looks very small. Maybe that's just the, the angle though. We got a chance. Come on, boys. The main boys are off. But this team is still capable of something. That was not a bad idea. Just didn't really work. Not like this. Oh, Mays had a great game. Mays had a great game. But let's not let it be for nothing. McIntyre on Harrison Reed. Gets it to Tete. And that's going to be a good block. Going to be actually a handball. But a handball on them. Okay, I'll take that. 20 minutes. I mean, this is a bit embarrassing for Fulham, you'd have to say. Against the League One side. The worst League One side in League One. That is the best ball I've ever seen. Sutton. Sutton, Sut, Sutton hits the, oh, and the rebounds over the net. This is such a good chance. It's Sutton. Yeah, it's such a good chance. Oh, how do we not put that away? How do we hit the crossbar there? That was such a good chance. Our 54 rated striker almost wins us the game against Fulham. I don't remember who played that pass, but that through ball was probably the best pass we've played so far in the series. Oh, that's going to be on side. Oh, it's not going to be on side. That looked like a decent chance too. This has been a decent game from us. Don't let it be for nothing. Come on. Try to block the pass. Block it. Oh, Fletcher. Fletcher, what a what a block. Okay. Relax. We need some composure from these boys. Now spread the play. Good ball. Andrew, get it. You were going to have a second chance, Sutton. Oh, I thought you were. That was such a good tackle. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, Wilson. He's offside. 
Thank you. This might go to penalties. I might. I might take penalties at this point. Although, we should have really just won the game with that goal with Sutton, but... Is his name even Sutton? I feel like his name might not be Sutton. I might have been calling him something else. But... I'll take a corner, though, at the very least. 87 minutes. Um, we're gonna lift this, because we got six foot Sutton in there. And that looks good. Oh, it was a good header. It was in the ground. It's what you want. Okay, no, 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 just don't lose it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's exactly what I didn't want. I just didn't want to lose the ball in a bad spot. And we lost the ball in a bad spot. Okay, Wilson, stop it. Let's win this ball back. Let's, I'll take penalties. I will take penalties at this point. Come on, pens. Okay, they might take penalties too. They're not rushing this, which I'm not mad against. Come on, ref. Oh, ref doesn't blow the whistle. Come on, there are, that was already over. Blow the whistle. Blow it right there. Beautiful. We got penalties in the Carabao Cup against Fulham. I would take that as a win right there. Being competitive with a team that's probably like much, much better than us. I will take, although I'm not, I'm guessing we have probably the worst penalty kick takers in the world right now. Was our XG 5.2? Did I just see that right? Or was that theirs? All right. Penalty stats are in their favor, but let's go. Penalty shootout. First one of the Kensington Road to Glory. Oh, Morris, man. That was a perfect pen. That was such a good, per that was such a good penalty. All right. Bottom right. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what to expect from this. Oh, it was a good pen. It was a good save, though, too. It's even better save. Second one for Fulham left. Morris. Morris. Morris, good save. I believe this is Sutton. Sutton, bottom left. Oh, come on. We're getting greens, and the keeper just knows where we're going. Come on. He's going to go right. He's going to go right. Oh, what a save from Morris. That was in the corner. We went a little bit early, and that save was amazing. Okay. Bottom right. Come on. We need to put one of these away. Oh, is that Butlin and goal? Who is that? Come on, give us a chance. He's gonna go left. Oh, he goes right, and that was like a chip shot, man. It's not Butlin. I don't know who that is in goal, but he's having a great penalty shootout. Is this going to be the end of our penalty shoot? Keeper saved every single penalty. We just suck at pens, maybe. Like, he read us like an absolute book. I mean, the better team advances, probably what should happen, but for us to be competitive with them, I am proud of the team at the very least. All right, unfortunate, but there's going to be no care about cup run this season. So we got Charlton next. Some of these players are still not scouted. I'm not sure if the scouting scout reports come back like right on deadline day or not, but I want to see Colback's value. But okay, he's even being scouted. He's not even being scouted. Okay, we just screwed that. So it looks like it's going to be between Tom Carroll and Svensson for that CM spot. Honestly, Svensson is more of a CDM, like 71 stand tackle, 70 slide tackle, where Tom Carroll, he's kind of more so like a box to box, I feel like. He's got way better technical stats. Where we do have a Hilton who's a decent CDM. So I feel like maybe pairing Tom Carroll with him would be decent because he's already got better defensive stats. And I mean, Svensson's pretty old. Let's uh, let's go in for Tom Carroll. Uh, let's see how much we'd have to pay. It's valued at 525. I would like to get a deal here if we can. I'm not sure if we will though. Like I think 475 would not be bad. And they just accept that. That was that's way under his value and way under what they said we can get him for. I feel like 475 with Tom Carroll. That, that's not a bad deal. I think out of the left backs, I'd rather have Suade. So let's go for him before we finalize that Carroll deal. I mean, they're so low rated where we actually could maybe swap someone here. Like Mendoncia, he's a player whose stats look very bad. Where I'd almost, I would not mind letting go of him, to be honest. Like 350 plus him for uh, Suade. He's 31, but he is, he'd be a huge upgrade for that left back spot. Okay, they just want 410 though. 410,000 for Suade. I might push my luck here and go for 385 just to save some cash. But 385, 390, that's a great price for him. He's 31, but he's 66 rated. That's honestly a great price. So Tom Carroll and Suade for a midfield spot. These are both starters in the team if we sign them. I mean, 29, 31, they're not even that old too. I feel like I feel like these players are perfect. So let's let's try and sign them up. We still, have, should, we still should have money too left over and their wages should not be too difficult, hopefully. Yeah, 2.1. That is uh, that is perfect. 2,000 per week. And we, I think we have a new starting left back. 2.2. I'll take that. We have our new starting left back, Swatter. And he's got a real face too, which always helps. And now same for Tom Carroll. I feel like Tom Carroll next to Hilton in the midfield would be really good. Plus also got a real face. When players have real faces, it's just easier to make a connection to them. You know, it's 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 better. Okay, two years. Boy, I, I want you on three years. Three years. There we go. And again, 2.3. A per week. That is fine. I feel like that's two huge upgrades. So Tom Carroll and Suade, 
both signed up. So I feel like we might keep McIntyre to be a backup center back. I mean, what is his value? 190. I don't know if that's worth selling or not. Maybe maybe by January we'll decide on that. But Suarez is the starter, and he's gonna take the number three shirt from McIntyre for like three. What, what do we pay? 390,000. That is a great signing for our team where we're at right now. And then we're gonna give, we're gonna give Hilton the number six, and we're gonna give Tom Carroll the number eight shirt. Once again, I feel like it's a signing that really really makes sense. It's really good for us. I wonder if we should make him just this plain center mid because I feel like he might go up in rating because his defending stats are not the best. I see him more of like a box to box, not a straight up CDM. Like, let's see. So, uh, yeah, at center mid, he's a plus one. So I think we should do that. I think we should make him a center mid. So we're going to do that. I, I like those two signings so much. So Tom Carroll and Sawade into the team. And that's honestly strengthened like two very, very weak points in the starting 11 at least. Now we do have 800,000 left and there's some players that are still pretty cheap we could, could go after. But they're so cheap that I wonder if we should try and spend this money on a youth scout. Although like maybe for 163,000 Ed Eaton, I mean three star judgment, two star experience, it's not terrible. And I do want to, I want the youth scout to be part of the series. So we're going to send him up. I like for only 100,000. I think that's a good deal. So that leaves us with 814 in the budget. I'd like to send another one in the 100K range, but we're going to send the scout. We're going to switch the country up every three months if we have the money for it. So we're going to do Scotland for the first time because this team does have a lot of Scottish players. So for the first month with Ed Eaton, we're going to do Scotland. So CDM and left back. There are some players here in the center mids who are very low rated players like Max Sanders here, but he's got some potential and he would not be that expensive, especially this Matty Willick guy. He's only 25 playing in League Two. If we can maybe swap someone like very, very low rated for him, I would do that. Like the guy Mendoncia, I would definitely probably swap him for him. How about him? plus like 75,000. How about that? I feel like that's a decent deal because Willick at least can grow a little bit. They just want 210. I mean, 210. It's so funny in FIFA terms. That's like nothing. But if you look at our budget, it actually is something right now. I mean, McIntyre is 190. Do we need him? I'd, I'd almost, nah, I don't, I don't even know. I can try our 36 rated uh, Ethan Holt. I can try swapping him. Like same thing, 75,000 plus Ethan Holt. He's 36, I think, right? Or Matty Willick, please accept it. Oh, you, I hate you, Salford City. 150,000 plus 10%. 170. That's like change. That's like loose change, maybe even for us. 170K. He's got, I mean, he's got decent physical stats. He's lacking in the everywhere else kind of, but he's got decent dribbling, ball control, short passing for a box to box off the bench with a little bit of potential. I mean, he's only 25. 170,000. I think we are going to try and do this. Plus, of course, he also has a real face. And if we can get this pretty cheap, I mean, 1.6, I think I would do that. And Matty Willick thinks he could do it too. So third signing, or actually fourth signing, is Matty Willick from League Two Side Salford City. So there is Matty Willick. I think he's a good, he's probably, he's going to be, he's actually like our third best midfielder now off the bench. So for 170K, I feel like it was not the worst signing. So that leaves us with about 500,000. Is there anyone else in a very cheap price range that I think that would help us? A lot of these players are just not willing to relocate. So in terms of loaning players, then I feel like it is going to be tough. All right, so we might have one or two more signings before we finish the window. Either loaning, maybe, or a free agent signing. But we're going to play Charlton Athletic with uh, the new players. So we are sitting in 15th place, a win and a draw and two losses. And Charlton, they are also sitting with uh, four points down in 19. But we did select them as a rival, so this should be a little bit chippy. But first game for Tom Carroll, first game for Suade, and probably try to get uh, Willick on at some point as well. Come on, first, this is a good chance to get our first win in the actual league. Or at least first actual first played win, which is what, what I mean. We got a little bit of an upgraded squad, which I am very happy about. So let's see, uh, see how their debuts and see how we play. This is a uh, London-based Derby, apparently. And that's not a good start. Oh, that's a good corner. Fletcher, what a climb. That is a beautiful climb. Are they going to shoot, though? Are they going to shoot? Douglas Jack, Jack Douglas, great, great challenge. This is going to be a lofted corner. Morris, Morris, that is a confident catch. All right, Suade, first touch as a Kensington player. I, I, I think these two signings are going to be very good. Suade, that's almost a really good ball. I mean, there's like five guys there. That was a pretty good ball for his first, uh, first pass. Well, obviously, uh, Suade is a former player of Charlton. So there's a storyline. Oh, we are overhitting these through balls every single time. I need, I need a. Uh, I need a tab because we're overhitting it. We're not giving the players even a chance to run onto those. Reeves, Jemina, back to Reeves. Reeves gets it to Tom Carroll. Ball up. Oh, see, that was a good move. It was a, it was a good idea. Didn't work, though. Oh, that's got to be a good ball. It is a good ball. Into Andre Green. That's a good shot. What a save by their keeper. That was a very, very good attempt. Connor Small, corner, lofted. Just goes wide. That is a great ball out of pressure. Now we need a break. Hilton. Through to small. Okay, Reeves, I need you to get into space there. 
He just got way too close, but that should be a good ball. Oh, it's such a good ball. They're just going to barely scrape away from that without conceding. That is just so lucky. Mina, two Reeves. Oh, he's going to be so offside. So offside. He finished at least, but Connor Small is completely offside there. All right, they are the lucky team to not have conceded yet. Like, come on. We've been the better team. Let's find this goal and let's let's score it. That's not a good ball. Green gets it to Carroll. Oh, that was supposed to go to uh, Reeves. Oh, that's going to go to Reeves. First time shot right at the keeper. What? How does that work for them? Where that throwout is right at Carroll. And then Pete Carroll just... Or it's actually Tom Carroll, not Pete Carroll. Tom Carroll just chests it down right to their player. How unfortunate is that for us? Come on, we got the momentum. Carroll into Reeves. Reeves just can't get past their center back. That is a great steal. Good ball from Small. Okay, Green. Small going to run. Continue to run. There we go. There we go. Connor Small. He's in. He's in. Highest rated player. We could have sweat it, but Connor Small is going to take that. That is the first goal. We deserve it. We've been the better team here. It's got to be the homegrown talent to give us the lead. It's got to be. He's left footed, but this is a pretty good finish on his uh, his right foot. Just got into a good spot and does the job. Okay. Deservedly so. We have taken the lead. Oh, this is a good chance. They're kind of spread out. Okay, the sweat. Can we execute the sweat? Reeves, two green, in front of goal, and that's 2-0. The sweat has been executed. And that's a two-goal lead. I think that's our first two-goal lead of the series. Yeah, Andre Green, he is he's pretty good. The Jamaican Cam. I mean, Reeves and him combining Cam and Striker. It's a pretty easy finish, but we get the job done again. And that is a tuna lead on our local rivals at halftime. All right, Reeves, Mina. Mina, make a run. Beautiful. Mina, we get across. We get across. That's a great cross. It's a great cross. Just no one's there to repay the, the great cross. No one's there. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, that's such a good ball. Morris saves us, though. That was such a good ball. We are so lucky to not concede there. Morris, the shot was right at him. Corner swung in. Come on, this has been a beautiful game. We cannot ruin it with a few defensive mistakes. Cannot ruin this. It's been so good. Oh, what a block by Tom Carroll. What a block. Green, get it to Reeves. Reeves, good first touch. Play it through to Green. I need, where are my players at? Boys, we need some support here. Oh, how do we do this? We just lose it. No one was there. Okay, this is a bad spot. This is very bad. This is bad. Okay, just recover. Just block the lanes. It's not blocking the lanes. That's actually doing the worst of blocking the lanes. It's a good ball. The finish is horrendous, though. Yeah, Charlton might not be a very good team uh, going off of their performance so far. Mina, what a good ball. Oh, what? That could, we could have ran on that. That was an advantage played. We had at least a chance there to get on that. They didn't give us a chance. Carol. Okay. We have absolutely no long shot capabilities. But... This might be a decent move. It could be decent. Hilton. Hilton. Oh, Connor Small's going to be on side. He's going to be on side. Oh, I thought we were going to win that. Okay, he was offside anyways. All right, we're going to bring on a Willick for Green because Green is pretty tired. And we are going to make... I mean, Willick, he might actually be better as a cam. Um, No. No, he actually is. He is better as a cam. So maybe he's a cam. I don't know. But we're going to bring him on for his debut. And I think that is probably it for now. I mean, I have 59 him. He might not look like much. But he's got some potential. So Willick gets his uh, Kensington debut. I mean, he's the one player we signed who's probably happy. He went from League 2 to League 1. That is uh, that is an improvement. And what kind of pass is that? Yeah, maybe this Charlton team is not very good. But for us to call a team not good, it's like trash calling trash trash. I feel like we might need a new backup striker. Because uh, Sutton is decent, but he, I don't know if he's good enough at 59. I feel like that's what we might look for. Okay, can I not do that? Okay, thank thankfully we don't get punished from that. That could have been very bad. Carol, what kind of pass was that? I'm going to let it go this one time, though. Come on, boys. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. Fletcher is a pretty decent center back. I haven't seen much from the other guy, but Fletcher is one that's decent. Clean sheet's gone, and we got 12 minutes now. This is going to be a game. Come on, boys. We cannot fall asleep. This has got to be a win. We have dominated this game. Oh, we got 12 minutes. Now this is going to be a tense 12 minutes. Oh, no. The team is just falling apart. We are just falling apart. You can you can smell it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Morris, what a save. That was just so oh, it's so incredibly shaky. That's a shot. Oh, please be offside. He's offside. Okay, we got 7 minutes. Everyone needs to relax. Oh, they have all the momentum right now. Oh, and they're pressing like psychos. Come on, these players are not very good. I am just going to hit that forward. I Oh man, we got to defend. Boys, Stay strong, Morris. Stay strong. All right, Paulson on for some pace for Small because Small's tired. And then Lee on for more defending for uh, Carroll. Come on, we got two minutes. 
Just defend this corner. I want this win so bad. I want this win so bad. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. This is where we earn our merit. Oh, okay. I'm going to... We're just going to play it out the back. We waste time. We waste time. Come on. Morris, I need a good ball to the Suade. That's a great ball. That's a great ball. It's off them, too. It's off them. We should get our first win. Oh, three minutes at a time. This ref. All right. 45 seconds. Come on, boys. Win the first ball. That's winning the first ball. And then Paulson gets it to Reeves. That should be enough. Oh, that's not a good spot to lose it. Oh, they're actually going to get a chance. Come on, ref. Thank you, ref. We had a fight for this win in the last 10 minutes, but that is a well-earned three points. Our first played win of the series against the local, the local rivals. Not happy with the defending late in the game, the fact that we conceded one. But as a whole, it was a decent performance. All right, so transfer down the day. I, I kind of want to keep like a decent amount of the money because in case we get youth players, you know, like I want to have actual money to sign them. Now, there is this player, this Cam. Oh, he's the one player who we can actually loan in possibly, uh, Man, I, I, I'm going to have to learn how to say his name if he accepts the loan. But he wouldn't be bad as a loan signing. Not bad at all. Only 1.8 thousand per week. But we do have two backup striker free agents on the the transfer list. Alibek and Duke. Honestly, these guys, I think they're both around the high 60s. For a backup striker, would bo both would not be that bad. And Duke looks like he's much quicker, which might help. Although I think Alibek has better finishing. Oh, they might actually have the same finishing. Only problem is, is I have no idea how much to pay them. So this might just be a shot in the dark. Okay, he wants a crucial role. I'm not sure we can give him that. Does he want important maybe? He wants crucial. Matt, I really don't want to give him crucial, but he might he might just walk away from the wage anyways. So let's see. Let's see if he says the wage he wants. He doesn't. He doesn't say. I mean, the most I'd pay for him is probably. He's 30 years old, probably high 60s. I think the most I would do is maybe like 2,000 per week, honestly. I think even lower than that, maybe. Like 1.8 plus. How about, how about a... How about a $10,000 signing bonus? He might walk away from this. I just don't want to pay him that much. Yeah, it's a bit of an insult, so he walks away. I don't want to give a guy crucial when he's not going to be our starter, though. Let's try out the back. I don't think we need, need a backup striker, but if we can get one, it'd be nice. If this guy wants crucial, too. Let's just, let's just give him it. Let's see if he tells us what wage he wants, though. He does not. Okay, if 1.8 was insulting to the last guy, this guy might want, like, 2 point something. What do we... I think the most we did in wages was, like, 2.6. I will do 2.5 as a last offer and then a little bit of a signing bonus i'll do that to alabax 30 but i believe he's like 68 i think so if he accepts okay they they want too high of wages so that's not gonna work maybe we can revisit them in uh in january but in terms of backup strikers i mean this guy is the only really one who we could we could maybe afford i mean we can't afford him and we definitely can't loan him in i mean can we loan in this guy no see all these players the rest of them are all unwilling to relocate we loan in stoica maybe Maybe we can loan in Stoica. That's probably not how you pronounce that name. But we can maybe loan him in, which I would not be against. Another striker. What's his wage, though? I don't think we could afford a loan to buy, so I just want to do a straight-up loan. I don't even know what his wages are, though. Oh, only 1.6? I would do that. Okay, they want 80-20. Do you know who we are? You're going to bankrupt us. All right, 70-30. I think I would do that. He's got to accept it, though, which is very unlikely. So we'll see if these two accept their loans. Although, I, I'm going to say it. Not very likely. Yeah, so the, the cam... From Salzburg declines that loan. If we can get this Stoica guy in, Stoica, I don't know how you say it. Maybe Stoica, Stoica, maybe Stoica. Hey, he's loaned in. I'll take that. That's a striker. I don't even know what his overall is, but I mean, he looks decent. So he has been loaned in. Hey, he's 65 rated. That's perfect. He's better than Sutton and Ford. He's a good backup to Reeves. Hey, right, that that is absolutely perfect. What is his value? 1.6. So if we somehow get some money, we can maybe make a permanent or go after him next season if he's good. But hey, I, I think that's a perfect deadline day signing in a position I think we need probably the most. Oh, he's got some pace too. He's got some pace. He probably been playing the wing too. That is, that was even better than I imagined. So he is the new backup striker and I feel like the bench looks a lot better. Plus we got Andrew who was very decent in game I think and McDermott. These two guys are decent. Can play in that midfield spot or in a cam spot because they both got decent passing and dribbling. You guys gotta tell me how to say his name though. He is from Romania. Is it Stoica? I feel like it might be Stoica. I don't even know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But it looks like he'll be the final signing so Stoica. Willick, Suade, and, T and Tom Carroll are signings. I think we did a decent job. With the money we got, I think we did a decent job. And then we got money left over for, po for possibly another youth scout and youth players. So I think we're in a good spot. So probably next time we see like a scout in the in, a, in that 200, 300 range, we'll probably uh, buy another scout. So I really like where we're at right now. First win, decent signings, youth academy being set up. I feel like this series, this is a very good foundation for this creative club. So that is transfer deadline day concluded. I really like the business we did. All right, so we sit in 12th and this is where we're gonna end this episode. 12th is not bad. How far are we away from the playoffs? I mean, we're only two points off the playoffs. Hey, that's, uh, I, I like 
the start we've had. First win, good signings. I am very happy with this team. Okay, so from now on, we're probably going to try to get through two months at least in each episode. That's probably the best way to go forward. You guys let me know what you think about that. I mean, we'd make some decent progress, although we'd sim a lot of games, but at least play three to four in each episode. I think that's the plan. Otherwise, this, this series will probably drag on a bit because there's a lot of games in League One and we're not even guaranteed promotion this season, which we probably won't. So I feel like two months at a time outside of transfer windows is probably a decent pace. But you guys let me know what you think about that. I do think this team looks pretty good, though. Definitely upgraded. So like I said, if you guys want this to continue to be a full series, you got to support the series by dropping a like. Drop a like in the sub button down below. That lets me know you guys want to see this series daily and as a full series, which I think this series is about to be so, so much fun. So let me know by dropping a like. Hit the sub button down below we're chasing 50,000 subs and i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day